Hey guys, uh, John out here working. Uh, the kids are out here raking leaves and Rosalind's like standing on a step thing. I don't even see her. She's being a complete nut, but I wanted to show you guys my greenhouse. All right guys, 12 by 12, some OSB on the front, got a little handmade door. We still gotta finish up putting the vents in, finish up repainting, stuff like that. Rosalind, what are you doing? She was over there barking like a dog earlier. I don't know what she's doing, but anyway, huh, come on in. So uh, I've kinda started today kinda setting up my little seed starting station. Oh, I just hit my head. Goodness gracious, I got a little lamp here for heat. Come on in, dinosaur dragon. Yeah. Oh no. Anyway, and there's the other little dragon, and then Phoebe's somewhere. Phoebe's probably coming in a minute. Here's where we're going to start our seeds. We got the lights all hooked up. We got the heat pads down here for germination. Hello. We got hello, hello. We got hello. some pots there, hello. We got some uh, fertilizers, racks, more lights. We got all kind of stuff stored in here. Nothing of super value, but uh, and here's another rack back here for doing more seeds. So I still need to put a fan in. I got to put the vent in. There's a lot of work we got to do. Hey, Phoebe, what's up? But um. It's, it's almost there. It's getting there. What are you doing? I did want to showcase right here on my little thermometer. It is 74, 72 degrees, something like that. 72 degrees, and it is hot in here, y'all. It's super hot. And that's with just a normal light. Uh, I want to get a heat lamp uh, to put in there, you know, to, to even work the heat even more as it gets colder. Um, now one thing I will say, all of this is probably very dangerous from a fire perspective, but if it burns down, oh well. But check this out, it's all on a timer. So I've got it set up to come on around, uh, 5 p.m. roughly, as the sun sets, and then it cuts off about 7 a.m. the next day, so it kind of heats and helps me maintain a good temperature, uh, throughout the, uh, cold nights. All right, guys, here uh, a little shot of our cover crops for this new plot that we're trying to fire up next year. We didn't... Eh, well, kind of, sort of. Yeah, I guess you could call them weeds, but it's got ryegrass, turnips, radishes. There's a few odd brassicas that me and Phoebe threw out when we had extra seeds. Uh, mustard greens, we've got clovers. We've got all kind of fun stuff out here. And the leaves also. So what we'll do is, here in about a couple of weeks when I'm able to get a silage tarp, we will mulch mow this down and leave everything right here, but chop down, and then we will tarp it for about a month or two uh, until we're ready to start really working it there in February, and that'll be some really good soil. If you've ever considered having your own nursery or place to start seeds at, the six mil greenhouse plastic is wonderful, and building a little cheap greenhouse like this, probably 200 bucks in total, and it's a really great little greenhouse, much better than what I had, if you guys remember from the channel. Uh, but yeah guys, if, if you're really excited about that, I can post videos of how I built it and do a more in-depth uh, thing. And uh, Oh, right before I go, let me show you the old garden. Alrighty guys, this is our first garden that I did with watermelons, if you guys remember. And uh, of course it's got a lot of leaves on it, but you can see some of the old debris or residue of old crops. From peas, beans, beets, uh, kohlrabi, kale that's still growing, cilantro that's still growing, carrots that are overwintering real nice. Our garlic is starting to pop up for t next year's season. Our radishes are still there, but we just haven't picked them yet. So it was a big experimental thing, and I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, so next year, we'll probably tarp this. Once we tarp that and get it going, then we'll come back over here when we start tilling that up and working it. It's, hey, Phoebe, what's up? And then we'll come over here and we'll tarp this one, and then plant this one in March, April, and then just really start working both plots, as well as some of these chicken beds over here, like the asparagus bed. I've got turnips sowed right there as cover crop, so we're going to really try to work this next year for the farmer's market. So guys, I try not to mention it too much, but I do want to kind of plug it right here. If you guys enjoy watching us as we struggle and learn about this whole farming thing and growing healthy, nutritious food, uh, you can head over to Patreon. Uh, we have a Patreon page set up. It's www.patreon.com slash Hallmark Homestead. And you can support us with $1, $2, whatever. And for each level that you go, you get uh, little prizes and special benefits and stuff like that. Uh, we already have a lot of members on there, a lot of good money coming in each month to help us. And we would appreciate uh, your contribution of only a dollar or two. 
would be nice. So head over there, patreon.com slash Hallmark Homestead, and you can help us finish our greenhouse. You can help us get the tarps for both of these plots, along with our compost for the upcoming year, our fertilizers, all that good stuff, because we are trying to do everything as organically as we can to offer Lawrence County a really good uh, bit of produce and stuff like that. So thank you for watching this. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Hope you guys have a great day.